All right, let's continue to add content to our site here. We have the name in the home page, the bouncing ball in the bounce frame, and here we have only the letter F. What we're going to want is a spinning object that flies across the screen. And the point of the exercise is going to be to put a movie clip in a movie clip and demonstrate that we can control both of them. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this letter F. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool to create a shape or a drawing object. And let me use a little bit different fill on that make it more visible. Here we go. Uh, we have a shape. Let's convert this into something that can be animated, which means it needs to be a symbol. I personally like to use graphics for static elements, um, but you can use a movie clip too. There's a very, very tiny bandwidth penalty, but not anything significant. Here is the square. Now I need a movie clip to spin the square. Now the mistake people make is they double click, they go into the square, and here you can see um, we are inside the square. That is not the place to be building a movie clip inside a, a graphic. So I want to go back out of that and what I'm going to do is hit, I'm on my main timeline as you can see, I'm going to hit F8 and now I'm going to make a movie clip called Spinner. All I'm trying to do at this point is spin the square. Because it's motion, it needs to be a movie clip. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go to my Properties tab, and I'm going to name this Spinner. Now I go inside Spinner. I'm going to go back to my timeline. And I'm going to do a simple tween here. I'm going to go to about frame 35. I'm going to put a keyframe by hitting F6. I'm going to insert a classic tween, the old-fashioned tween, and then in the properties of that tween, and remember to select the tween, you can select anywhere in between the two keyframes. For the properties, um, I'm going to go to the rotate. I'll choose counterclockwise. And as I scrub my timeline, you'll see that this will spin. And as I test my movie, When I go to the fly frame, I have my spinning object. So the first part of this is done. Now, same mistake can be made again. You don't want your flyer inside your spinner. You want your flyer to carry the spinner. I'm going to go back to scene one, and then I'm going to hit F8 again. This movie clip is going to be called Flyer. And try to get in the habit of naming the instance the use of the movie clip on the stage instead of the name in the library. Name it as soon as you make it. Now I'm going to double click Flyer and if we look at the properties you'll see that this is an instance of Spinner. And if you check my corner Flyer, I'm inside inside the flyer movie clip. Okay, now what I want to do is go to the timeline. I'm going to move this off to the side. We're going to do something just a tiny little bit different here, uh, which is that we're going to insert a motion tween, which is something that's new in CS4. I'm going to drag this timeline out a little bit, give this thing some room go out to about, I don't know, 130, and then I'm going to drag it across the screen. And what you'll see is this green line here. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to double click this on the layer, and I'm going to go to a purple or something, just so that you watching this video can actually see that line. That's a little bit easier. Now using my arrow tool, all I'm going to do is warp that. And if I want to warp it further, I can use the um, subselection tool. Um, I didn't want to do that. Let me undo the cut. 
um, I can go to the corners and you'll see my bezier handles if I can grab them successfully. Let's try this again. Here we go. I'm going to move this one like this and I'm going to move this one like this. If I scrub my timeline what you'll now see is the object moves on the path. This is very different than in CS2 and CS3 where you had to snap objects on the path. The motion tween comes with its own motion path. So that's that. Let's test this movie. There's our bouncing ball. Here's our flying spinning object. The spinner is being carried by the flyer. Next, we'll add some start and stop buttons to control the motion of these pieces.